While human mating rituals aren't always conventional, at least we are a lot better than the animal kingdom, where some courtship practices include cannibalism or a fight to the death. Hippos will fight in swarms until only one alpha male remains standing. For the praying mantis, she will almost always bite the head off her mate when his presence is no longer needed. While some habits may seem inhumane, the bazaar can teeter into the endearing, as the deli penguins offer pebbles to a partner they'll adoringly keep for life. Behold, nine magnificent marine mating habits. Nine, bluegill fish. According to biologists, many species of fish have territorial males and sneaker males. The former will defend their females and eggs from other hostile males. The latter, usually much smaller and weaker, will wait on the sideline and approach as soon as the female lays her eggs. For the bluegill, a freshwater fish also known as the bream, brim, or sunny fish, they encompass a third category of a male breeding behavior called female mimics. This variety is often quite older than sneaker males and looks like females in order to get as close to a territorial male as possible. As the alpha bluegill is already busy trying to fertilize his lady's eggs, he'll spot the new female and assume he is acquiring yet another love interest. Once his fin is turned, the smart imposter will swoop, and the war on bluegill baby breeding has begun. 8. A Delhi Penguin While some gifts involve jewelry or chocolate, for one species of penguin, the ritual is a bit rocky. Male Adelie penguins from the Antarctic coast collect the softest, smoothest stones with which to impress their beloved. You see, females use the small pebbles to carefully line their nest, so attention to detail and a meticulous eye for the perfect rock is key. The male will set the stone in front of the lady prospect, and if she likes it, she'll gather the stone. If not, it will get cast aside with one haughty motion of the beak. A dance ensues, as well as some penguin banter, and the male is sent off to collect more rocks. The problem? If another male presents a worthy rock in his absence, she'll be quick to forget the first tuxedo-clad suitor. 7. Puffer fish While some resort to violence, others turn to aesthetics as their main form of flattery. The puffer fish, for example, can culminate a fine creation of art in which they use their fins to create intricate patterns and designs that could take hours to perfect. Such a personalized performance of love takes place on the sea floor, the perfect setting for an ideal female to be won over. Some scientists refer to this act as the creation of underwater crop circles along the sandy sea floor, and once the pair mates, the female lays her eggs in the center of the male's impressive work of art. 6. Seahorse If love were a dance, the seahorse has it mastered. Every morning, seahorses come together and intertwine and dance in order to reinforce their bond. The female entangles her tail around her mate, changing colors and touching noses as they move together in unison. His tail is prehensile, that is, it anchors the pair to objects, such as blades of seagrass with a grip so fragile it's like a baby grasping on an adult's finger. This rhythmical ritual ensues for eight hours at a time, until a female becomes pregnant and once fertilized, she transfers her eggs into the male's pouch. This method ensures that the male is the father, a possible reason why he remains so involved in such a tender union with his partner. At large, seahorses are considered some of the daintiest creatures in the sea, but as one can see from such a tedious mating style, their dedication to love is larger than life. Males can produce up to 2,000 babies during this aquatic aerobic ritual, despite a pouch that's only half a tablespoon in volume. Shortly after, the male gives birth to fully independent offspring. The female is ready to dance again, and so the labors of love are never lost upon the seahorse species. 5. Sharks With over 440 different species of shark in our oceans, it's fascinating that they each bear their own unique style of mating habits. While some lay eggs, others give birth to their young. Some travel exceptionally long distances just to meet their shark mates. And, interestingly enough, some species of these man-eating fish give birth to extensive litters, while others only have one pup in several years' time. First, 
mating game begins after a female releases a chemical into the water that stimulates interest. Much like a shark can smell blood for miles around, these feisty fish can detect a ready companion up to great lengths across the sea. While certain varieties like hammerheads and the great white shark have competitions that involve a show of strength or even dancing, all sharks engage in biting to attract the right attention. In fact, fierce females will show bite marks across their bodies long after mating. Though these bites aren't as ferocious as the kind delivered in When Animals Attack, as nature will go, female blue sharks, bull sharks, and tiger sharks have adapted to the prowess behind the pain and have evolved their skin to be two to three times as thick as their male counterparts. Other species, such as white tip reef sharks, bite the fins of the prospective female, and after this, the female can either accept or reject the offer. Scientists have observed a form of refusal, avoidance, and blocking of males by nurse sharks who will determine whether a potential partner is worthy by flaring and cupping their pelvic fins. Finally, once an embryo is fertilized, sharks have four forms of reproduction they endure to produce their offspring. First, a method known as viviparity occurs when embryos are hatched inside and pups seek out nourishment, placenta and umbilical cord style, much like human babies. Oviparity is a process in which fertilized eggs are deposited in the ocean and therefore hatch independently from the mother's body. The sacs are known as mermaid purses and are contained in a thick leathery membrane to protect them against predators. Sharks that are ovoviparous hatch inside the uterus and since they are not fed via placenta, it's survival of the fittest, eating unfertilized eggs and other pup fetuses in order to survive. Lastly, some shark species are asexual, a very rare form of breeding that has only been observed in captivity with the hammerhead shark. Here, females have been known to breed without a mate. Perhaps this is their way of saying they're not much into biting. 4. Hooded Seal It is not uncommon for the occasional fight over an adorable female. In fact, elk and deer have been known to lock together and struggle until one, or both, are killed. Hippopotamus are incredibly territorial, as out of a herd of a hundred, there can only be one male leader. To earn such high standing, the aggressor must fight till the death against dozens of other hormonal hippos eager to win the title of the alpha male. Once the leader establishes his place, he sometimes allows males from other herds to interact with his females, though it isn't always likely. For male hooded seals, the species is no exception. Except that first they display an odd appendage protruding from their faces. The power of their prowess isn't as beautiful as a peacock's perfectly splayed feathers. No, here hooded seals develop large inflatable pink balloons on their heads to show how attractive they are. The balloons are sexually selected to be used in contests over female prospects, and a fierce fight to the end ensues until finally one wins and the bag inflates. The winner gets the girl. And all is fair in love and war, until the next battle, of course. 3. Sea Snail These hermaphroditic species of sea slugs and snails have a bizarre mating habit that involves forming a long chain in which all members are connected. The sea hare begins this group mating ritual when one individual acts as a female to the one behind it, ensuring mass fertilization along the line. The giant sea slug orgy is essentially functional when one sex cooperates with the alternative behind it. 2. Sea Slug This species of sea slug, known as the Aldera modesta, may be small in stature, but they're known to fight epic battles. What's more, they're simultaneously hermaphroditic, which means they have both male and female reproductive systems. In the tiniest undersea battle of all time, wars are raged to see which one will carry the eggs and which one will fertilize them. To do this, the males are equipped with two male appendages, one which is used as a sword to spar with the other to try and inject the opponent with sperm without being inseminated himself. By all scientific means, the act has earned the name penis fencing, as it appears as if the surly slugs are trying to stab each other without being stabbed themselves. Sperm can be injected anywhere on the animal to fertilize the eggs, and actual mating lasts about five minutes before one or the other is finished and slinks away in victory. 1. Anglerfish Talk about a stage 5 clinger! 
Male anglerfish are born with the mentality that they can either find a female as soon as possible or face imminent death. This species of needy is born bearing jaws that are ineffective for catching prey, and they also lack a digestive system. So attaching to a female is literally life or death when it comes to staying alive for sustenance. If that's not underwater fatal attraction, we don't know what is. Further, after an anglerfish finds a female, he bites into her flesh and releases an enzyme bonding the two together. This enables nutrients to pass from the female to her new host through their shared circulatory systems. Quite conveniently, this also allows the male to pass his semen along. The free ride enables the male to determine how long he wishes to stay latched to his lover, sometimes sharing her with up to eight other males. Eventually, the male dies, and when the female is ready to reproduce, she uses the male's appendage that's still stuck to her body. For years, scientists couldn't find any male anglerfish. That is, until they saw a female carrying the body of another along with her. This together forever mentality either makes animals highly fascinating or just downright disturbing. Did you know, not all animals have bizarre behaviours when it comes to love. Sea otters are monogamous, for example. They'll hold hands while sleeping to prevent the other from drifting away. Please subscribe to What Lurks Below for more aquatic or inspiring moments.